By the early 70s, TV was beginning to lose some of its magic. In 1970, I Dream of Jeannie ended its five-year run, and in 72, Bewitched also wrapped. In a way, a final effort was made to hold on to the spirit of classic television in 1970 with the program Nanny and the Professor. The series, which ran for three seasons, starred Juliette Mills as Phoebe Figalilli, who asked to be referred to simply as Nanny. She showed up at the home of widower Professor Harold Everett, played by Richard Long, to serve as caretaker for his three children. Taking a card from Mary Poppins, there was something a bit off about Nanny, who possessed something akin to a sixth sense. It was a lighthearted, wholesome comedy in the same vein as Family Affair. If you're at all curious about what happened to the cast of Nanny and the Professor, or if you just want to learn a little bit more about the short-lived series, keep watching. Too Much Magic By the time Nanny and the Professor hit the air, Elizabeth Montgomery was pretty much done with Bewitched, and ABC was looking for something different to fill its time slot. For a bit more perspective, it's helpful to look back on what eventually happened with Wonder Woman and the Bionic Woman. After producing a Wonder Woman TV movie with Kathy Lee Crosby, they then remade it with Linda Carter and tapped back into the original mythology. Just like that, the new original Wonder Woman TV movie hit the airwaves and viewers everywhere ate it up. At the same time, Lindsay Wagner was casually introduced on The Six Million Dollar Man, and she ended up scoring her own series out of the deal. Seemingly overnight, ABC had themselves two superhero women's TV shows, and what did they do? Canceled both of them without batting an eye, because they simply couldn't decide which one of the shows they wanted. The end result was that both shows were sent off to different networks. The same story unfolded with Nanny and the Professor. Nanny was supposed to be a stand-in if Elizabeth Montgomery decided she didn't want to do her show. But then suddenly, All in the Family hit the air, and that's all anyone could talk about. Then there was Petticoat Junction, a series viewers seemed to have lost interest in. Before anyone knew it, shows started getting canceled left and right. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Stay tuned to learn all about Kim Richards of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills role in the series and her shocking and wild personal life years later. Juliet Mills, Nanny Phoebe Figalilli Star of the show was British-American actress Juliet Mills, born November 21, 1941 in London, to a family already immersed in show business. Her father, Sir John Mills, mother Mary Haley Mills, and sister Haley Mills were all actors, while her brother Jonathan Mills was a director. Juliet's acting career began as a child. In 1960, she was nominated for her role in Five Finger Exercise. Before and after starring in Nanny, Juliet appeared in several films and TV shows, though her longest role was appearing in 990 episodes of the daytime soap Passions. She portrayed Tabitha Lennox between 1998 and 2008. In the 60s, Juliet was upstaged by her sister Haley, but once Nanny hit the airwaves, that started to change. She was always a decent actress, and she's enjoyed a respectable career on stage and TV. After Nanny, she went on to do a lot of guest roles and bit parts. Her career never really stalled or lost momentum. She merely adapted to the changing times and the natural effects of aging. And speaking of, she's aged quite gracefully over the decades. At 79, she still has it going on. Since 1980, Mills has been married to Grease 2's Maxwell Caulfield. She's slated to provide the voice for the character Chava in the upcoming animated series Ark in 2022. Richard Long, Professor Harold Everett The professor was a widower and mathematics teacher at Collier University. He was also the father of three children, two sons and a daughter. He reluctantly hired Nanny and found himself befuddled by the things she did. Many of her actions made little to no sense to him. There was also an ever-growing affection between him and her as the show progressed. Richard Long, born in Chicago in 1927, was discovered by a Universal Pictures casting director while performing in a college theatrical production. He then made his movie debut in 1946's Tomorrow is Forever. He went on to appear in a handful of films throughout the 40s and 50s, including a stint in the series Ma and Pa Kettle Adventures. Richard's television career was ultimately his greatest professional success. Between 1958 and 63, he appeared in 31 episodes of 77 Sunset Strip as the character Rex Randolph. He later reprised the role in the 1959 spin-off Bourbon Street Beat. His next big credit was in The Big Valley, a series in which he appeared in 112 episodes from 1965 to 69. 
After Big Valley, he did Nanny, which was a nice change of pace. It allowed him to show off more of his real-life personality. He was actually a very funny person, but you wouldn't have known it if you only saw him in 77 Sunset Strip. Long and Mills had quite a bit of on-screen chemistry. If the show had gone for another year or so, their relationship might even have blossomed into a romantic one. Sadly, Richard's life was cut short when he was only 47. Since he had experienced a fairly debilitating case of pneumonia as a child, he lived with a weakened heart. And it didn't help he was a drinker and smoker. In the late 50s, he suffered a heart attack. Then, in the days and weeks before his death, he had a flurry of heart attacks. He ended up passing away December 21, 1971, four days after celebrating his 47th birthday. David DeRamus, Harold Hal Everett Jr. The professor's oldest son, Hal, was a child with an above-average IQ, and he followed in the path his father laid out in terms of the practical way he viewed the world. DeRamus was born in Palmdale, California, December 23, 1957. Besides his turn on Nanny, DeRamus spent five years on the Waltons portraying the character George G.W. Haynes, boyfriend of Mary Ellen Walton. Although eventually his character was killed off during an ill-fated training exercise at the start of World War II. Some other notable credits of Doremus include an episode of Bonanza in 1972 and the 1981 made-for-TV film Rivals. Since 1980, he's taken a step away from Hollywood and works in the mobile electronics industry. Trent Lehman, Bentley Butch Everett. Butch was the middle child on the series and obviously had issues. For one, he was always jealous of Hal. His character also hated his real name and was often depicted as being a mischievous prankster. He was ever determined to spook Nanny, although it never quite worked out that way. Unfortunately, Trent was troubled in real life too. He was born in LA in 1961, and before he did Nanny, he appeared in an episode of Gunsmoke and had a role in the 1970 film The Christine Jorgensen Story. After appearing on Nanny for three seasons, he landed a small role in a 1972 episode of Emergency. In 1982, after being unable to score any acting gigs, breaking up with his girlfriend, and losing all his money and valuables to a burglary, Lehman hung himself on the fence outside of Vena Avenue Elementary School in Pacoima, a neighborhood in L.A. Kim Richards, Prudence Everett. Of the three children featured in the series, Prudence was the only one who instantly took a liking to Nanny. She was portrayed by Kim Richards, who later starred in the reality show The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. In addition to appearing on Nanny, Richards did a lot of TV work, including a part in the cast of Hello, Larry. Her personal issues have been fairly well documented, but despite that, she's enjoyed a fairly successful career in showbiz. Richards was born in Mineola, New York, September 19, 1964. One of her sisters is Kathy Hilton, and her younger sister, Kyle Richards, is still a member of the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills cast. Nikki Hilton and Paris Hilton are her nieces. Needless to say, Richards comes from a star-studded family. Before Nanny, Richards did a handful of commercials. Afterwards, she appeared in the Disney films Escape to Witch Mountain, No Deposit, No Return, and Return to Witch Mountain. She's also appeared in quite a few TV series, including 13 episodes of Here We Go Again, 20 episodes of James at 15 and 16, and three episodes of Different Strokes. She's been married twice and was once engaged to a man who was allegedly tied to a criminal scheme that got him killed when he was brutally murdered outside a deli in Northridge, California. In 2015, Richards was arrested and charged with public intoxication, trespassing, resisting an officer, and battery on a police officer at a Beverly Hills hotel. Nowadays, she seems to be enjoying the simpler things in life. She's off probation and a grandma now and is working through her problems with her sister Kyle. Now it's time to hear from you. Who is your favorite character from the show? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.